Welcome to the show, guys. We are talking Championship Week 17 Optimal Plays. All right, this is a very important episode, guys. You got to pay attention here because there's a lot of guys that you may want to consider starting that have tough matchups. So you got to make the right decision in this very important Championship Week. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm going to make this episode a little bit different here. Drop your questions here if you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, guys, if you're on audio, cool, listen on audio, but head on over to the YouTube channel and I'm gonna be answering, and I'll try to get to as many as I possibly can, your specific championship starts and sits questions. So I'm gonna make it ultra interactive here for you guys in the comment section here on YouTube. So I wanna to try to help as many people as I possibly can win the fantasy football championships. This is a very important week, guys, and I want you guys to win. So drop your questions below. Very, very important, all right? Gonna give you all the auto plays each position. We're gonna rip into it. Before we do, guys, a couple big announcements here. First and foremost, head on over to Hooters.com or download the app. Right now, guys, save $10 on an order of 30 or more on takeout or delivery by using code FFC20. So the code you want to use FFC20 to save, guys, $10 on order of 30 or more. Now, I'm telling you guys, order some food. We got Thursday night football. We got Sunday. I mean, we're starting to get into playoffs here. That's the code you want to use. They've got the football bundles on right now. And upon checkout, make sure you guys secure the calendar the 2023 Hooters calendar, guys. Set your goals on the wall and meet them this year. All right, guys? Hooters.com, <clears throat> download the app. FFC20 is a code you want to use upon checkout. All right, guys? Secondly, guys, head on over as well. A lot of people are done with fantasy football. You can still play DFS, guys. Head on over right now to prizepicks.com, and the code you want to use is DFS line for this one. And what you're going to do there is you can select two to five players, select more or less on their specific prop, let's say rushing yards, and it's easier to win. So go experience it, guys. Make DFS fun. Prizepicks.com. DFS line is the code you want to use. They'll double your first deposit up to $100, right? Now, let's talk about the optimal starts at each position here. And I got to tell you, I'm a little pissed off here. I'm going to be straight with you. I'm really, really pissed off with Derrick Henry sitting. Now, they're saying it's the head coach's decision. I don't care. This is a soft move. If you are Derrick Henry, you say, listen, I'm the king. I'm playing in this game. And he's not playing, guys, from what I understand. Derrick Henry will be sitting out. Can you believe this? Derrick Henry in your fantasy football championships will be sitting out. Absolutely and totally disgusting. So I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys right now, I will never be drafting Derrick Henry again. He did this a couple years ago where he sat out where they didn't need to make, you know, they already made the playoffs or whatever and they didn't need him to play. They're trying to preserve him. I don't care. This game matters. And we knew that there'd be some sort of complication with the 17 weeks implemented. But either way, Derrick Henry... Missing time, very, very disturbing, and I don't like that at all, all right? There's a couple other people, you know, that were limited in practice, Chris Olave, guys like that, Kenneth Walker, but look for some game time decisions to see if they're playing before you start them as well, okay? Very, very important. Now, real quickly, some optimal plays at each position, get a rip through it, but again, I want to make this more interactive. <clears throat> Drop your questions below, all right? Uh, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Davis Mills, Desmond Ritter, Jared Goff, all good matchups. Am I saying start Desmond Ritter and Jared Goff? Absolutely not. If you got better options, go ahead and start them. But I'm telling you, Justin Fields has the best matchup for his position. Mac Jones, great matchup. Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Davis Mills, Desmond Ritter, Jared Goff have the best matchups versus position. <clears throat> okay? I'm telling you guys, these guys have easy matchups. So if you're torn and you got to make a decision, the match is favorable. Do I start Russell Wilson? Absolutely not. If I have somebody else, I'm definitely starting him. But if I'm desperate, and let's say I lost GM Hurts, I have nobody else, just note that Russell Wilson has a good matchup. A couple guys that have tough matchups, and I'm not saying sit them at all. <clears throat> Josh Allen, Pat Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence. All you got to start all of them. Okay, All of them are startable. Just be aware, Pat Mahomes is playing Denver. Bur Burrow's playing Buffalo, and we saw what they did to... Um, fields last week <clears throat> when they played him. Uh, Trevor Lawrence playing Houston secondary. Uh, just be aware. That's all I'm telling you guys. Be aware that these guys have tougher matchups. That's it. That's all I'm telling you. All right, optimal plays at the running back position here. Straight to the optimal guys. Travis Etienne, very hard to trust, but does have a favorable matchup versus Houston. Zonovan Knight, a lot of people just, uh, you know, going to be starting him, and that's okay. The match is favorable, although the past two weeks have been crappy for Zonovan Knight. Brian, <clears throat> Brian Robinson Jr., great matchup. DeAndre Swift, Ed Williams, great matchup. Swift has been a bust all year, but he finally has a great matchup versus Chicago this week. 
Cam Akers coming off a hot week. You definitely want to consider starting him in a great matchup versus the Chargers coming off a 38-point week. Saquon Barkley, Tyler Algiers must start. Tyler Algiers, a sleeper I had in the 16-round draft solution. Definitely worth a start this week. Dalvin Cook. I mean, you got to start him as well. Great matchup with Christian McCaffrey. All great matchups along with Zach Moss and James Conner. All right, if you got to go back and listen again, these guys have favorable matchups. A couple guys to note that have tough matchups now. I think Tony Pollard is questionable. Check his uh, check his injury status before the game time. But uh, we got Josh Jacobs. We got Tony Pollard. We got Najee Harris. We got Nick Chubb. We got Devin Singletary. We got Kenneth Walker and Joe Mixon, all tough matchups versus position. It's all about being aware so you guys can make educated decisions on who to start. Okay, very important. Wide receiver here, you want to start your wide receiver that's consistent. And this is something that's very important when you are starting your players. Okay, you want to take a look at who has been consistent. Consistency is key. I can't express to you how important consistency is. How consistent were they over the past three weeks? And then I cross-reference it on how tough that matchup is, okay? So again, how consistent are they and how tough is the matchup? But I'll tell you right now, CeeDee Lamb has been consistent and it's got a great matchup versus Tennessee, all right? We got Chase Claypool, very hard to trust, been banged up. Although Chicago wide receivers do have it in pretty good versus Detroit. Be aware of that. Christian Watson's been inconsistent as of late. Him and Dobbs, Lazard all have a great matchup versus Minnesota. Be aware of that. This could be a big week for a bounce back for Christian Watson if you're considering starting him. And Sammy Watkins, not that I really trust him, but I'm telling you guys, these guys have good matchups, all right? Um, when we're talking Baltimore uh, Baltimore receivers, okay? I, again, I don't trust Baltimore receivers, but you no, know, Demarcus Robinson coming off 8.8 point weeks. They are playing Pittsburgh. It's a good matchup, okay? Him and Watkins, again, I don't trust these guys. I'm not starting them, <clears throat> just to let you know but they have good matchups. Just be aware, okay? Uh, Devontae Adams, again, you know, it's not going to be car starting. I think it's Stidham. Um, you know, he does have a good matchup versus position. Devontae Adams playing Sam Fran. Just be aware of that. Jerry, Judy, <clears throat> I got to imagine here, um, Judy a little banged up, Sutton a little banged up. Check their injury before game time. But you got to imagine that uh, Russell Wilson is going to play hard his last game or two, okay? They're going to play him from what I hear. They're not benching him like they are with Derek Carr. Finally, they're benching Derek Carr, by the way. Um, again, how is this going to affect Devontae Adams? It could be bad for Devontae Adams, or it could be good. We don't know when you got another quarterback coming in, all right? Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. Uh, Mike Evans has been very inconsistent as of late, but he does have a good matchup versus Carolina. Brandon Cooks, <clears throat> you know, good matchup versus Jacksonville. Uh, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, great matchup uh, versus, you know, Buffalo secondary. Still not a, not a bad matchup. They're a little bit better against the run, okay? Uh, but again, you want to be able to, Start your consistent players. Mike Evans, great matchup. Do I trust him? Very hard to trust. Very hit or miss there when you're looking at a guy like Mike Evans. Uh, tight end position. Start your starters here at tight end. We had Hawkinson having a great week last week. Coming back again. Mid-range matchup. George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Tyler Higby. Mid-range matchup. Cole Komet been boring and safe. But you may want to consider starting him if you don't have another tight end option. Evan Ingram been pretty solid. You might want to consider him. Dalton Schultz, great matchup, and Tyler Conklin, great matchup, okay? Again, you want to start guys that have been consistent at the tight end position, more importantly than have them having a great matchup because you want to get those consistent uh, 10 points out of your tight end going into this week. Uh, defenses to possibly stream this weekend here, guys. Giants versus Indy, Jacksonville versus Houston, great defense. They've been consistent all around. they got a great matchup. KC versus Denver, we know how Denver has been playing. Chargers versus the Rams, <clears throat> Lions versus Chicago. Although, no, Lions had a bad week last week. Expect maybe Fields to have a good game. So I'm a little cautious about the Lions defense. But on paper, it looks good. Eagles versus the Saints, Browns versus Washington, Falcons versus Arizona, and Seahawks versus the Jets. All right, guys? Again, drop your questions below. I'll try to get to as many as I humanly possibly can. I'll help you guys with Championship Week. Subscribe. New to the channel. We're going to be rolling out. 2023 content very shortly. I've already got a couple of videos on it already. I'll be rolling it out for you guys. Subscribe, thumbs up, drop your questions below. Championship week, Derek Henry screwing a lot of people. Make sure you pick up Haskins and uh, let's go win it, guys. I'll talk to you soon, guys. I'm out.